Hello dear participants. Today we are going to talk about calcium, its biological functions and importance for health. This element is one of the most frequently met elements in nature. In the picture on the left side of the screen, you can see calcium carbonate. It is a nutritional supplement which is recommended for calcium deficiency. Also, you can see calcite in the right picture. It 100% consists of calcium carbonate. High concentration of calcium can contain in soil or in seawater. The construction of such beautiful things as pearls and corals are based on calcium. Calcium is also important for plants. It is responsible for the balance of water, carbohydrates transportation. It strengthens walls of cells of the plant, developing the root system. Strengthens resistan resistance to diseases. The lack of the calcium in soil leads to deformation of cells, weakens formation of epithelial tissues, slows the growth of roots, both for humans and for plants, the lack of calcium leads to skeleton deformation and rickets. The list of food containing calcium is quite large, so both people who prefer mixed diet and vegetarians can find suitable products which contain substantial portion of calcium. You can see that concentration of calcium in milk food is high. Among fish products, highest concentration of calcium you can find in sardines. Soy cheese, for those who love soy-based products, is also a good source of calcium as well as dog rose, almond, amaranth and others. Special attention one must pay to the fact that one of the main calcium sources is clean water. It gives us about 30% of the total amount of calcium that we get. If you look at the list of milk products, you will see that almost all the types of milk food contain the same portion of calcium, except dried milk, which is a concentrate, contains larger portion of calcium. Melted cheese gets its portion of calcium when being cooked. Thus you can see that milk, sour cream, curd and other milk products can enrich our body with calcium. If we are talking about non-diary calcium sources, such products as broccoli and kale also contain calcium. Kale contains almost the same amount of calcium as milk food, which is very good for vegetarians. Fresh, fresh orange juice without preservatives also contains calcium, but in smaller portion. Needed portion of calcium that we should get daily depends on age. For children, as for humans who are intensively growing, the portion of calcium varies from 600 to 1000 mg per day, depending also on weight. After reaching the age of 16, needing calcium stabilizes to the point of 1000 mg. With mother's milk, infant intakes almost 100% of calcium that the woman gets with food. That is why women need extra portion of calcium during breastfeeding period. One of the most important roles that calcium plays is, of course, its participation in construction of bones and teeth. 99% of calcium forms the basis of the human skeleton and 1% circulates in blood. But besides this quite well-known function, there are many other interesting, interesting things about calcium that one should know. It is important that calcium and phosphorus should be balanced. If there is an excess of calcium and the lack of phosphorus, we cannot call it a normal situation. You can see an ideal formula of hydroxyapatite and phosphorus is one of the main components in it. Calcium initiates muscular contractions. It is also a secondary mediator of signal transmission to the cell. 
it is involved in the process of blood calculation. Here are some facts about calcium and phosphorus metabolism. The portion of calcium and phosphorus in the body is about 1,800 grams and it is mostly concentrated in bones in the amount of 99 and 85%. The rest 15% of phosphorus is contained in cells. And as we already mentioned, 1% of calcium circulates in blood. When it comes to metabolism, one of the most important factors is that only ionized calcium is biologically active. Daily, we not only get, but also lose calcium and phosphorus elements. It is excreted with feces and urine. 20% of these elements is reprocessed by veins. And if there is veins functioning disorder, acid alkaline disorder in the body or urine in particular, imbalance of calcium in the body or hormonal abnormality, it may cause urolithic illnesses. Calcium is necessary for the metabolism of more than 300 biologically active substances. It normalizes the functioning of some endocrine glands. It is involved in suppression of allergic reactions by inhibiting histamine. It helps to remove excess of sodium from the body, as well as radioactive substances and heavy metals. It normalizes the work of Hester intestinal tract. Together with insulin, it activates the entry of glucose into the cells. It is important to mention that three ions of calcium in interfibrillar space start reduction processes. If there are some problems with calcium, there also can be problems in those processes, and such diseases is myasthenia gravis and myopathy may start developing. Calcium influences permeability of cell membranes, implements muscle contraction, helps to get rid of insomnia, improves look of hair, nails, skin, person looks younger than his age. It maintains osmotic pressure in blood and intercellular liquid. And also, many proteins of the central neural system interact with ions of calcium. So you can see that calcium is not only connected with bones, but also with blood and nerves. And if there is a lack of calcium, we can start experiencing contractions and spasms. Besides skeleton and muscles, Calcium is also important for heart functioning, not only for muscle contraction, but also for conduction of neural impulses. As we already mentioned, calcium influences blood coagulation. It is a complex process with several stages. Calcium is needed to form a blood clot. If there is a lack of calcium, blood clot cannot be formed, and instead of coagulation, we will get bleeding. Here is some statistics. You can see that concentration of calcium also depends on weight of a person. And we have this 1% of calcium in blood. So blood could carry calcium to organs and tissues which suffer from the lack of calcium. When deficiency of calcium is the case, rains stop secreting it to urine and feces and return it to blood. If there is still lack of calcium, Bones, as donors, give calcium to the blood and to the body, and become fragile and weak. Extra portion of calcium is needed for growing organism, when person experiences additional physical or emotional stress, for bedridden people and pregnant women. With food, Calcium first gets to mouth, where saliva is first to react. In mouth, 
food calcium is exposed to the action of calcium bind binding proteins of saliva, which form this soluble complex. In abdomen, under the influence of enzymes, calcium gets released and in ionized form enters the duodenum. Calcium absorption flows throughout the length of the intestine, but due to the greater length of twisted intestine and a longer stay in them of chemus, the amount of absorbed calcium in them is higher than in the duodenum. In the intestines, an average amount of absorbed dietary calcium is about 30%. From 15 to 70 percent, depending on food and age of a person, and excreted up to 800 milligrams per day. Grains reabsorb up to 98 percent. It is important to remember here that the easiest way to maintain normal level of calcium is to drink clean water in large, because such a renal resorption cannot provide enough of calcium each time. Calcium metabolism realization is connected with parathyroid hormone. It is also includes renal resorption and excretion with feces and urine. Vitamin D is well known for many functions in the body, and here it is connected with functioning of calcium and its metabolism. As any other metabolic process, calcium metabolism connected with work of hormonal regulation system. One of the important hormones is parathyroid hormone. It is produced by parathyroid gland. It increases concentration of calcium. Adequate regulation of functioning of the parathyroid gland is the change in level of calcium. Its reduction activates secretion and its increase inhibits it. In the thyroid gland at the same time calcitonin is produced. Calcitonin stimulates calcemia. Parathyroid hormone it strengthens absorption of calcium complex, stimulates resorption of bone tissue, liberates calcium from bone tissue. PTH lowers the number of osteoblasts that inhibits RNA synthesis, including collagen. In rains, PTH increases resorption of inorganic phosphate. Target organs of parathyroid hormone are bones and rains. In bone tissue, parathyroid hormone influences maturation of cells and also activates alkaline phosphatase, which is responsible for activation of the dissolution of salts in calcium and collagen state. As a result, when this hormone increases its activity, it will cause mobilization of calcium and phosphate from bones to blood, so it could carry them to organs. In kidneys, in kidneys, the hormone still stimulates calcium resorption in the distal convoluted tubules and thereby reduces its excretion with urine. But it reduces the resorption of phosphate and thus increases its excretion with urine. The interesting thing about per Parathyroid hormone is that it is not only returns calcium back from bones and urine, but it is also responsible for concentration of vitamin D. Parathyroid hormone restores the normal level of calcium and phosphorus in the blood by direct action in bones and drains, and by calcitrol, which stimulates the absorption of calcium from the intestine. If we don't eat enough of food containing calcium, as for example in case with lactose deficiency, 
rains will return calcium to, to blood from urine, and it may also cause problems with activation of production of vitamin D, D3. Another important component is calcitonin. It is produced in thyroid gland. One of the main functions of calcitonin is that it lowers activity of osteoclasts that under influence of calcitonin take calcium from bones in case of the deficiency of the latter. You can see here another important element and one of them is cortisol which is used as a medicament. There are two types of it. IL-1 interleukin that stimulates osteoclast activity and STG modulator of growth. Estrogen makes calcium stay in the bones not letting him go back into the blood. Insulin stimulates the production of collagen. Another participants in the process of calcium regulation are cytokines glucagon, adrenaline, and others. One of the most important elements is calcitriol, an active form of vitamin D. For its producing, sun exposure is needed. 15 minutes of sun exposure is enough to get vitamin D produced naturally. Target organs of vitamin D. First of all, it is intestine, where it regulates production of proteins and absorption of calcium. It is also functioning in rings, regulating resorption of calcium. And in bones, it regulates producing of hydroxyapatite. The lack of it causes osteoporosis. Taking vitamin D can also help to balance the state of gallbladder in case of bile abnormalities. Vitamin D is not only responsible for the absorption and transportation of calcium, it also regulates osteogenesis, regulates synthesis of immunocompetent blood cells, maintaining a constant level of calcium in blood. It is also involved in the synthesis of ATP. The main controllers of calcium metabolism are metabolites of vitamin D3, PTH or parathyroid hormone, and calcitonin. Inspecting concentration of calcium in blood is one of the easiest way to detect calcium metabolism. It is important to investigate all the parameters of calcium. Is it free? Is it proteins bounded? In a word, you should get detailed status of calcium. Genetic studies are one of the most effective methods to assess risk factors and identify roots of the existing problems. According to this knowledge, one of the important genes is VDR. VDR gene encodes a nuclear hormone receptor of vitamin D3. The receptor regulates the metabolic processes that are involved in the immune response and cancer processes. Next gene is the gene that determines lactose intolerance. It is called MCM6. MCM6 gene encodes protein having a regulating effect on LCT gene, which encodes the enzyme lactase, splits lactose in the digest digestive tract. Third gene that can help us to estimate risk factors connected with calcium is gene SYP11B2. SYP11B2 gene encodes a second polypeptide, aldosterone. Aldosterone is a steroid hormone involved in the regulation of water salt balance in the body. 
Calcium metabolism abnormalities can be of a different character. They can be connected with aging, thyroid gland disorder, excess of caffeine because it increases calcium loss with urine, intestine absorption disorder, and protein diet. It is also important to know that treatment of renal stones with a diet based on low calcium concentration do not prevent stone formation and contribute to osteoporosis development. Here we have another food to discuss. For example, phytic acid is the part of plants and it binds calcium. The high content of phytins in feed bran explains the adverse effect on the absorption of calcium. Dark green leafy vegetables often have a relatively high calcium content, but the absorption of calcium can be prevented by oxalic acid in some plants. Products with a low content of oxalic acid, such as cabbage and broccoli, are good sources of calcium. Parathyroid hormone secretion abnormalities can be connected with hyperfunction of parathyroid glands. The main cause of it is an expected removal of the parathyroid glands during thyroid surgery or autoimmune processes. The main manifestations of it are hypercalcemia and an increase of neuromuscular excitability leading to fits of tetany which manifests itself in the form of contractions of smooth and skeletal muscles. Osteoporosis is a disease in bone density which leads to their fragility. The population of people suffering from osteoporosis is increasing, is, is increasing worldwide. The most reliable method of that diagnosis of the disease is a specific radiographic examination, osteodensitometry, which provides the opportunity to research in depth assessment of the skeletal system of the patient and assessment of risk of fractures for the next 10 years. Calcium stones is the most common type of kidney stones. There are two main types of calcium kidney stones. One of them is calcium oxalate. It is formed of calcium and derivates of oxalic acid. Calcium phosphate ones are more rare and they are a calcium salt of phosphoric acid. Calcium oxalate is the most solid of stones with an uneven jagged surface. It makes its passage through the urinary tract extremely traumatic and painful. Despite the fact that a number of con congenial and metabolic diseases can be associated with the formation of calcium stones, often the causes of this type of stones are not known. Ways of correction of calcium metabolism disorder Calcium gluconate is a medicine that compensates the deficit of calcium which is necessary for the implementation of the process of transmission of nerve impulses contraction of skeletal and smooth muscle. Calcium lactate regulates calcium and phosphorus metabolism, compensates the deficiency of calcium in the body, has anti-inflammatory and anti-rickety action. Calcium chloride compensates the deficit of calcium, which is necessary for the implementation of the process of nerve impulse transmission, reduce skeletal and smooth muscles as well. Hydroxyapatite control calcium and phosphorus metabolism. It is also a basic of inorganic matrix of heart tissues. And the last way to correct calcium meta metabolism disorder is to take D3-calcitrol. Here you can see that numbers for men and for women are almost the same. Exception is pregnant and breastfeeding women. It is a good news that products that can enrich our organism with calcium are quite widespread and available in every supermarket. You can easily find here 
oatmeal, milk, cheese and fish and include them to your diet. The lack of the lack of vitamin D in the body of a pregnant woman greatly increases the risk that her unborn child may later develop serious autoimmune disease, multiple sclerosis. That is why pregnant women need to take extra portion of vitamin D during the pregnancy and lactation. The increase in the bioavailability of calcium one of the compound food components that stimulate bioavailability of calcium is lactose. It increases the absorption of calcium. Treatment of lactase insufficiency is based on the diet restriction or total elimination of food containing lactose, milk, adopted and non-adopted milk formulas, porridge and puddings. After verification of the diagnosis of lactose intolerance of an adult type, lactase medicine is recommended to use each time one eats food rich in lactose. Professor Moon Yang Su, the head of one of the largest Korean hospitals, claims that he recommends his patients who have high risk of osteoporosis or already have this disease, vitamin D in the form of injections. To prevent osteoporosis, especially after menopause, you need to provide a sufficient amount of calcium to the body, but with age it's getting harder to absorb it. Now it is time to hear some information about our special offer for our present interns. We will teach you how to integrate vetogenetics into your practice quickly. Fulfill an individual training with vetogenetics experts and get your own genetic test done. Our special offer includes Initial consultation, where our specialist will teach you how to choose the set of genes for testing using your characteristics as an example. Three tests or three genes based on vetogenetics technology teaching you how to interpret results of the test by the example of your own results. Also, you can get four extra kits for collecting genetic material. Here you can see the prices of our partnership packet price and special price for our interns. Before you start the training, you should contact us and we could form your individual schedule. There are several steps that I need to be done. First, you need to order genetic test on our website or from our partners. Next, you should pay for your order of genetic analysis. Receive a kit of collecting genetic material via courier services Send collected biomaterial to the VET Genetics Laboratory using any convenient way of shipping. You will receive your personal conclusion on the results and individual consultation of VET Genetics specialists. Thank you for, for your attention. If you have any questions, direct them to the mail you see on the screen. Goodbye.